Hello Pilates body by Kayla Queens. Kayla Brueger here. It is day nine of your beginner Pilates 10 day core and ab challenge. Your progress tracker should be almost all the way green. If you don't have that progress tracker and course challenge guide, head to PilatesBodyByKayla.com. Go ahead and grab that. It is completely free. Today is all about oblique endurance. I am going to teach you how you can level up some of these beginner exercises and start to move them into intermediate exercises. Let's get our bodies moving well so we can feel well. Please meet me on your mat in tabletop, all fours, hands and knees. We are going to begin right away with that transverse abdominal breathing. Inhale, relax the core muscles, keep the back nice and flat. Exhale, draw the tummy muscles up and in. Feeling the belly button to backbone, zipping and scooping. Inhale, relaxing, and then exhale, zipping up. One more time here. We're well rehearsed with this exercise by now. Exhale, drawing up and we're holding up. Take a deep breath in without releasing those core muscles. Now, as you exhale, find your side squeeze. Inhale back to center. Look over the shoulder. Try to pull the armpit and hip together, finding that external oblique activation here. And again, you're not swaying right and left, you're just squeezing the right and left sides of the body. One more time, each side as you exhale, and last one to the left. Find center here, keeping those tummy muscles lifted, slight bend in the elbow. Let's go ahead and find our spinal balance right away here. Right arm and left leg are extending, belly button is staying straight over the center of the mat. Go ahead and take it down without shifting weight. It's a light transition. I like to feel like super light and airy, like I'm hardly touching the mat as I'm transitioning sides. That way the belly button stays right over the middle. My core is continuing to stay engaged. We've got one more each side and we are going to progress this. Hold the left arm and right leg nice and long. Go ahead and take the hand down underneath the shoulder, but keep the leg long and we are just going to do a little lift off of the left knee here. So this is a little modified plank position. You're going to come down on the left knee, pick up the left arm and the right leg again, back to your spinal balance. Go ahead and lower the hand and toe and then come up to that hovering lift here. Let's do that one more time. This is your beginner variation. Now you can stay right here into that spinal balance or we can go back into a full high plank with the left leg stepping straight back. So you've got options here. Bring the left knee down, return back to your spinal balance. It's an inhale here. Exhale with the knee hover or full high plank. Lower down, spinal balance. Exhale, knee hover or full high plank. One more time. Beautiful job. You got this. High plank, hold or hover. Stay here for three, two, and one. Beautiful. Both knees come down back to your tabletop position. Second side, right arm, left leg go long to that spinal balance. Square the hip. Take the hand and toe down. Curl the right toes under so you can come up to that knee hovering. Bring it down, inhale, spinal balance. Exhale, lower, hover that right knee up. Lift out of your tummy muscles here. Hover that knee. Now staying right here or you're moving to the progression of the full plank, stepping back, strong and long, making sure that those hips don't get uneven as you exhale hover or high plank. One more time, wherever you're at, we hold it for that three count. Feel like your wrists and your toes are pulling together. Three, two, one, both knees come down. We are returning back to spinal balance, left arm, right leg. Inhale, stretch away. Now we are going right out into that airplane position. Now if you're not ready for both legs and arm at the same time, just start with one. Move the arm, then move the leg. So that would look something like this. As you exhale, you're just moving the arm. Inhale, you're returning back to spinal balance. Exhale, you're just moving the leg. Inhale, returning back to spinal balance. Exhale, maybe the arm and the leg are going at the same time. Now wherever you're at, let's do three more. Exhale as you're shifting away from your center. That right arm is stabilizing. Holy moly, those obliques are firing. We're back long spinal balance and lower it down. Woo, that gets the heart rate up and the body warm. Take the right arm and the left leg nice and long. Square everything, make sure that we're set. Again, it's always about length and not height here. Again, maybe you're starting with just the arm as you exhale out to the side. Inhale back to spinal balance. Maybe it's just the leg exhaling out to the side. 
Inhale back to spinal balance. Maybe it's you're working towards the arm and the leg at the same time. I'll meet your body where you are at and find three more. And exhale. And exhale as you're moving away from your center. Bring it back in, spinal balance, and we are lowering down to all fours. Okay, if that's not a warm up, I don't know what is. Let's make our way down onto our belly here, lying flat. We are gonna be coming in to our straight arm reach here, feet hip width distance apart. We're trying to press the hip and pubic bone down, lifting the lower tummy muscles up. We are gonna come into our Superman lift. Again, it's just the arms that are lifting here. And then we're gonna go right into that cactus pullback as you exhale. Inhale, stretch out, and exhale, lower down. Now again, it's not about lifting super, super high. We wanna be intentional about lifting out of the upper back, using the glutes, squeezing those shoulder blades together. Inhale, stretch out, and exhale, lower down. Now again, you're staying in that cactus arm, or we're progressing to that full arm circle here as you exhale, reach back. Inhale, reach those arms out, neck is long. Exhale to lower. One more time, inhale, bring it up. Exhale, cactus or a full arm circle. Inhale, reach it forward. Exhale, lower down. Now meet your hands underneath your armpits here. Elbows pin right up to the sides of your body. Oh, chest is already open. Upper back and triceps already firing up. You're gonna begin to lengthen out your neck. Inhale, begin to extend out of your upper back. Gently press through your wrist. So you can see my fingertips are not on the mat. I'm really trying to work on keeping the arm positioning here as I find my swan extension. And then exhale, lowering down. You're gonna stay right here for another two. Inhale, coming up and then exhale, lowering down. Now again, it's not pressing up with your arms. This is much different than an upward dog in yoga. I always joke, we don't do any yoga poses. In Pilates, exhale, lowering down. Now you're more than welcome to stay right here, or we're gonna start to work towards a rocking swan. Inhale, you're gonna come up. If you're rocking, you're rocking down, but your eyes stay up, and you meet right back up at the top of your swan. Exhale to lower, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower, inhale, lift. Those legs with lift. As you rock down and up for three, and two, and one. Slowly make your way back to your belly. Find yourself in all fours, hands and knees position, and meet in your resting stretch. Sink your hips back to your heels, reach those arms out nice and long, and just give me a gentle hip sway. Rise up, go ahead and turn so you're lying on your side body position, elbow right underneath shoulder, and we are gonna start with knees and ankles and hips stacked here. Hand can be on hip, hand can be behind your head, or hand can stay right down on the mat in front. We're gonna find our clamshell here and we're just gonna find a nice external rotation of the top hip. I want you to try to target your outer glute here without rocking your hip back. So we're pushing down onto the mat, we're opening and closing. Abs are in strong. I also like to place my hand on those tummy muscles once in a while, just making sure that everything is firing up. I'm really going for length in this motion here. Let's do two more, really drawing down into my bottom heel as I open. Now we are gonna work on our hip lift. So as you exhale, you're gonna drive down into the mat to get that oppositional upward energy, and it's coming from those bottom obliques. Exhaling on the lift. Now you're more than welcome to stay right here. If you're ready to work towards a progression, your top leg might start to straighten as you lift. And actually, I do kind of feel that extending the leg out is a little bit easier, but it does give you a little bit more range of motion to come up a little bit higher, which is going to activate that bottom oblique a little bit more. Now another progression is to hover the leg up as you're lifting here. So whether your knee is stacked, the top leg is extended out, or the top leg is hovering, we're here for four, we're here for three, we're here for two. You're probably starting to feel that bottom glute as well. Our glutes are so important to core strength too, but that is part of my Pilates body challenge, which is an eight week challenge. I would love to have you join. Let's find our clamshell again. We're gonna open and close, but now we're gonna add the hip lift with it and open 
and close. Bring it down, lift, hold, open, and close, and lower. Lift, open, close, and lower. We've got three, that bottom shoulder starting to get tired. Yes, are you with me? Two, and last one. Hold here, extend that top leg nice and long. We are gonna go into a gentle forward back swing here, trying not to let the arm collapse. Stay long here, that top leg is nice and steady. It's not dropping below the hip. We're gonna go three, exhale back, two, exhale back, one more, exhale back and hold. Oh my goodness, we made it. Top arm is going over and we are gonna find a nice stretch here. So your top foot is reaching to the back edge of your mat. You're twisting and reaching your top hand towards the back edge of the mat. Oh, that is so yummy. Beautiful spinal rotation, really stretches out that top oblique. Give me one more breath here. Let's go ahead and come on up so we can do all of that on the other side. Stacking up your shoulder and elbow. Starting with the knees tucked, take your hand into position wherever it makes the most sense to hold the length here. And we're gonna start with those clamshells, opening and closing. Exhale, try to get that external hip rotation by finding that outer glute connection. With each breath out, draw those belly muscles in and up. We've got five, exhale four, and three, two, Beautiful, last one. Now we're gonna work into that hip lift. Lifting up and down, up and down. Finding the hand positioning that works best for you. Really lifting, push the mat away. Try to focus on that bottom external oblique as you're coming up. Now you've got that option to stretch the leg long to get a little bit more lift. You can play around doing a little bit of each variation. You can try that hovering lift as well. We're here for five, exhale four, three, two, and one. The knees come back together and we add that clamshell and the hip lift together. So go ahead and take it up, hold, open, close, lower. Lift, hold, open, close, lower. Three more, open, close, lower. Lift, open, close, lower. Last one, open, close, lower. Keep the length, we're almost there. That top leg is stretching out now. You're gonna take the top leg forward and back, really swinging, but working on stability. Exhale as you go back, notice the leg is nice and straight and I'm keeping my body in between two panes of glass here, making sure that I'm not rocking. Last two, exhale, one more, exhale back, hold there, lower the foot down, take the top arm over, nice reach, and you're gonna rotate towards the back edge of the mat there, try not to collapse, I like to push away while I reach. So again, there's that oppositional energy, you're pushing down versus collapsing, making the body work for length. Ooh. Take a nice big breath in, overhead to feel the length one more time, and then exhale, go ahead and press yourself up. That is wrapping up day nine of your beginner 10 day corn ab challenge. If you need a little bit more today, go ahead and check out one of my other workouts right here, maybe some glutes, maybe a little bit more higher intensity abdominal work if you are ready for it.